Oh! One hand. No, do it again. I am hype. Hey everyone, I'm Liza Koshy, and these are my favorite snacks. I'm so excited to be here. I literally, I asked for this. CJ, did I not? Yes. Yeah, I've watched all of these episodes. I love it. Throw that shit, Tim. Throw it now. <laughs> Hit me. Oh, we're starting with this? Oh, we're immediately driving away the audience. Okay, good. No, we're gonna refine my people right now because this is a culture dish. This is for higher society. I learned this from Adele herself. It's ketchup and eggs, babes. And it's delicious, all right? I swear, it's so good. It complements the eggs really well. It makes them even creamier. This is the appropriate amount that you should put on. It's a double shot, babe. Oh, that sound effect for free? That is the appropriate amount. Any less, not. Okay, this is, oh, I'm so, if I was hungry, I'd be so down. It's gonna seem like I'm force feeding myself. I just ate lunch, okay? I love this. No, oh, it's so good. I love, I love, it's like salsa, dude. Ketchup is an underrated condiment. I think it's made fun of too much. It's delightful. It's just pureed salsa. Put it in your spaghetti, smoke a J. It's a marinara sauce, ketchup. Next. That man. <laughs> leave Tim in, leave Tim in. Thank you, Tim. One hand. No, do it again. Do it again. Not even looking. One more time. Nice. What is this? Oh, pickles. They used to sell this on the bus in Texas. Big, thick, girthy, hot pickles. They were always a dollar. They're in vending machines in Texas too, but a thick, hot pickle that's been sitting in a bag and then the humidity of Houston gets into the vending machine and then makes it even more moist. Like, it is delightful. This one is already like pre-cut for me. I love this. I like them a little thicker. This slice is like, it's a solid quarter size. I like a thick tree ring. I want like 10 years of life on that puppy, like big boy. Um, love this. Did you know pickles are actually a fruit because they have seeds? It's my favorite fruit in the world, pickles. Ready? Next! Let's get it! One hand wonder. That's what they call me on the streets. Listen, this skinny pop is the best. I have a Costco membership as a bachelorette. I also eat a whole family size for one. It's not healthy, but it's delightful. I also tend to put this ketchup dust brought to you by Canadians. Have y'all had this before? Okay, we're gonna puff puff pass this one around. Canada just does it right. You see what they did with Ryan Reynolds? I'm gonna use my teeth. <laughs> and then you inhale it. Oh, oh, I just cut myself open on the container. Actually, if, if I put this ketchup dust in an open wound, it might go straight to the, hell yeah, let's do it, boys. I'm good, it's okay. Oh, that's so good. Let me make some for the team. Oh, that's good. Right? Do you like ketchup on your eggs? Do you like ketchup on? I never put it on my eggs. Do you want to start a podcast together? I feel like this is going sure. somewhere. <laughs> okay. Let me just leave it. Woo! This! Oh my god. When I die, I want to be cremated and put back into this. This, oh, this is peanut butter dust. Essentially just the dust of peanuts. And if you add water or add yogurt or add milk, you can create peanut butter. It's just such a good topping on frozen yogurt, on Greek yogurt. Wait a second. Do we have Greek yogurt here? <laughs> what are the odds? Listen, you can mix it with yogurt or put it as a topper. It is delightful. Dude, it's so, it's like magic. Look, dust, super not appetizing, right? Looks like your grandmother. And then you mix it. <gasps> Grandma, no. Does anybody have a peanut allergy? <laughs> I've done this before. <laughs> well, I've opened this up and they were they were fun. They were fun. I'm genuinely so happy to be here. And it, it sucks when you're extremely happy. People think you're on something. Right. <laughs> but I swear, I just, I love this concept so much. I do. Tim, bring that shit in. <laughs> Thank you, Tim. 
This is the best combo. A giant like mango on a stick cut into slices is the ideal way to eat it with chamoy on top and then tahini. Chamoy is like a spicy, a sweet sauce. If you don't know it, you should. Go pick one up. Yes, this is such a good combo. You can also get it sliced and in a cup. You can get it with cucumbers too. That's the best combo is like mango, tahini, cucumbers, chamoy, mmm, lime squeezed on top. Oh, support small businesses. Go and stop at that local vendor on the corner. Mmm, that was not ready to be plucked yet. <laughs> When it's in season, it is so good because it's so sweet and so sour, but this is sour and sour. One hand. Nice. Awake. This is caffeinated chocolate. Does it seem like I need more? Really? I'm not about to eat this one. I am hype. <laughs> I need nothing. This is what I had right before this, so it gives you context as to why I'm acting this way. I have an unhealthy obsession with coffee that other people have to deal with the consequences of. Sorry, everyone in the room. But I love, I love, love, love these little bites. It's a quick little bite on the go, and I eat them all the time when I'm feeling a little low. I need a little pick me up. I don't need it right now. Tim, you can have it. They're really good. Take it. I'm sorry. It was disrespectful. Oh, this is a DIY moment. Oh, oh, oh! This one's delightful. Freaking dates. This is what you're gonna do. You can take a date and split it in half. Ow! It's like, so you take a date, split it in half, make sure it's deep pitted. Oh, no pit. Oh, this is what acrylic nails are for. You wanna fill it with a little bit of peanut butter. You take a couple slivers of nuts. Couple little slices. Dude, it's like a grown healthy Snickers. You add a couple pieces of chocolate in there too. If you're presenting this to someone. Oh, clean plate. I watch Gordon Ramsay. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Involuntary chandelier titty dancing. That's delightful. I'm a Gordon Ramsay groupie. I went to the Super Bowl with him and Guy Fieri. It was so random. They were like brosifs. They were broing out the whole game. It was awesome. He didn't eat shit. He didn't eat anything. Neither of them ate anything in that suite, and that's how I knew not to eat it either, because I have standards. I actually, oh wait. Oh, I'm an exposed guy. I made him a plate of chicken tenders, because he was looking at mine and was like, where'd you get those? And I was like, oh, I got you, I'll bear back. Put together a plate of tenders and came back and he said, oh, I didn't want them. I just wanted to know where you got them. What the hell were you gonna do, my guy? Were you gonna waft it? Like, you just wanted to see it? It was, so, it was wild. Can I wet my finger real quick? It's a little sticky from the date. Thank you so much. I don't know, that might show what What year is this from? This is a wet one? I almost sliced, I almost got a paper cut from this shit. What in the ancient is dust? <laughs> I'm so happy there's not a lot of like injuries at the company to the point that this first aid kit is from the 1920s. God, I could roll a doobie in this. <laughs> what the hell? Those are all my snacks, so thank you all so much for watching. Thank you for watching Players on Netflix, out now. That's why I'm here, that's why I'm doing this. Also because I love snacks. Bye. Yay! <laughs> Smile, yeah. The full round of Thank you. That was sick. <laughs>